Welcome to Punto How To. This time we're looking at the rear drum brakes and replacing the brake shoes. Begin in the usual way by getting the car off the ground and safely positioned on axis stands with the front wheel secured. Once the wheel is off, you can remove the studs that align the wheel. Once you have removed the studs, you should be able to remove the drum. However, if the brakes are tight, you may need to loosen the automatic brake adjuster. This was difficult to film, so isn't shown in the video. Once you have removed the drum, you can access the brake components. Start by removing these two clips that secure the shoes in place. To remove these clips, take a pair of pliers, grip each side of the clip with the pliers, push the clip inwards and then slide it away from the securing pin in the middle. Hopefully this makes sense looking at the video. Once removed, things are a little bit looser and it makes it easier to remove the two springs that hold everything together. There is a spring at the top and a spring at the bottom. We remove the spring at the top by sliding a screwdriver behind it and levering it away from the shoe. We use the same process to remove the spring underneath. Once we have removed both springs, we can remove the automatic brake adjuster and then start to take the shoes out. We remove the leading shoe first, as this is free to remove and is not attached to anything. We then remove the trailing shoe, which is attached to the handbrake case. First we release the handbrake cable from the old shoe, and then, to start reassembly, we attach the handbrake cable to the new shoe. When reinstalling the handbrake cable, make sure to get the centre core of the cable secured in the right place, and the sheath of the cable pulled back to the right place on the brake shoe. This will allow the brake cable to work properly once in use. If not done correctly, then you won't get full travel of the cable and the full force of the handbrake applied when you pull the lever. We reinsert the trailing shoe with the handbrake cable now attached. We secure the trailing shoe with the clip. This keeps it in place and prevents it moving whilst we assemble the rest of the brakes. Now reinsert the leading shoe with the brake adjuster positioned between the two shoes. Take your time at this stage. The two brake shoes plus the adjuster all have to be correctly lined up in the right position. There is a degree of movement allowed within the parts, so this allows you to take your time fiddle about with it, get everything just right. Once in place, we secure both brake shoes with the clips we removed to begin with. And we can now put the springs back in that holds everything together. We put the spring at the bottom in first and then we put the spring at the top in. This is quite a difficult process as the springs are very tight.
Once the springs, clips, and shoes are all back in place and the handbrake cable is connected properly, we can reinstall the brake drum. Now, if you are replacing the brake drum, it's a simple case of putting a brand new drum over the top of the brakes. If you're using the old drum like we are in this case, we clean the drum first to remove any dust or debris that might still be there. We reassemble the drum over the top of the braking mechanism. Now, to put the two wheel aligning studs back in, Once everything is reassembled, you can now adjust the automatic brake adjuster in order to get the brakes adjusted correctly. You put the wheel back on and then you can turn your attention to the other side.